This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Well, that was a bit of a bumpy ride. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Parasite Eve. In the last episode, we defeated Shiva and saved Ben and Baker. Baker's out of commission and Ben's doing things and Daniel's taking over the precinct and we're chasing after Eve and this little hospital thing. Will we find out a bit of our past? Well, let's find out. Nate, Nate, don't get the bugs, bed bugs bite. How do you even know what that is? Uh, yeah. Ah, the power. Well, sucks. Now we're in pure darkness. Great, thanks, Eva. Man, she's more of a jokester than a villain, even though she's done all these other terrible... Anyway, he's trying to trap me down here. Apparently she knows a bit about technology and everything. She's cut the main power line. Now we're going to have to reset it ourselves. Yep, elevators don't work. Oh, great, one elevator's broken and one with the... without power. The other one is useless. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out how to get there. So the only thing we're going to have to do is... Well, actually... I bet she didn't think of doing the stairs. Let's uh, let's head to the stairwell. Uh, clearly, she wasn't paying attention to that. Oh, on top of her, can't go there. Oh well. Wanna do any mopping? Mop, 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 a day nog. Mop, 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 boy, sing this song. Gonna watch the wind, is gonna make it shine. Gonna watch that poor turpentine. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Okay, she's cl more clever than I thought. Dang it. All right, she crashed the stairwell. Okay, we're gonna have to restore the power. So we're gonna, our next objective is to find a couple of fuses to re reset the, the fuse box, so. Actually, I don't think you can even go up through this door, can you? No, we can't, okay. I forgot kind of the semi order to do some of the things in, so all right, we need to, ah, here's our first fuse right over here. Almost missable, because it doesn't even blink until you get into like the general area. Anyway, we got fuse one. We need to find three of these suckers, so. All right, let's check this thing out. Now you get some more ammo, awesome. Let's uh, check this thing out. And we get uh, the M79. Now this is a not a bad grenade launcher, mainly, not so much for the power and everything else, but because of the feature it has on it. It's got a thing called Tranquilizer, which if you use it on an enemy, it get, it's a chance to put them to sleep, which is pretty nice. And actually, if you wanted to use it here, it wouldn't be too bad of an idea, mainly because I think a good deal of the creatures here are actually uh, uh, weak against uh, um, uh, uh, the tranquilizer ability so that's something to consider we'll definitely save that for later because that's that's a, a good ability to have ah dang it shame you got hit by that oh well good thing it ends at the end of that fight anyway yeah it's not like that that fight is hard to avoid so oh yeah did i I'm trying to remember if, um, last episode if i used my bonus points oh i have a few of them wow all right let's uh put some of those into uh whoops wrong way yeah a couple of those oops and reload just to make sure. Okay, let's keep going. I guess Eve thought she could stop me with her monsters and her trickery, but uh, we shall survive through this. What the? A little girl again. Hmm. Maya, wait, it's me. Why are you dressed in those clothes? You must be cold. Um, uh, okay. Well, let's see what, uh, let's chase after her, see. Hmm, what's this? Need a blue key card, huh? So we can't go there. Locked. Alright, let's try this door. Try where the little girl ran off to. Maybe she ran off in here. Either that or Aya's going insane. One of the two, so. No, nothing there. Oh, I guess she didn't mean to go in there yet. I wanted to grab what was in the that uh back room there. There's a couple items in there, so. I got a mess of three. We can save it if we want. Don't need to right now. We got an autopsy key. Oh, we can finally go through the door. I don't think there was anything else in here. Weird that little box. You think you'd be able to like grab it or in interact with it or something? So I don't think I don't remember every single interaction in this place. So I'll try. I'll try my best to remember. Like if there's anything outside, just collecting items, but like story stuff and all that. But ugh. yeah, the morgue or some of like that, or the aut or like I said, the autopsy room. So I don't think you could mess with any of this stuff. Nope. Okay. Ooh, I do. You get a defense plus two. Very nice. I think it can also be a defense plus one, so I got a bit lucky on uh, on that, so let's put on the jacket. Nice. Oop, more, more enemies. What do we got now? 
Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the creatures that we find. Uh, these are uh, amoeblobs, I think are their name. And then we get this like weird insect, you know, mosquito thingy. So, ah, ah, come on, man. All right, fine. We'll uh, we'll use we'll show we'll show off that ability. Show off detox. Since it's pretty early in the battle, so man, I can't believe I got hit twice. <laughs> man, just not uh not doing too well today for my dodging. Uh, and then those other creatures are like, I think they're called insectoids or insect men or something like that. I think um, they can basically, uh, you know, find, uh, you know, shoot those like pools of acid or goo at you or something like that. So not that they're actually pretty easy to dodge. Although technically those amoeba blobs or whatever are pretty easy to dodge too, but I keep getting hit by them. So what do I know? Right? Anyway, despite the fact the PA energy takes forever to uh, fill up, it, it doesn't seem that bad, actually. Like, uh, like some people said that they always had an issue with PE energy taking forever to reload, so that made the game dangerous, but I don't know, I never... I mean, maybe later in the game it gets a little bit more nasty, but so far I, I don't remember it being too bad, so... Okay, I was just checking to see if there's anything you can interact with outside of the obvious stuff. That is kind of the weird thing about this game, that this game doesn't have a lot of, like, in Resident Evil, for example, there was, like, a whole lot of interactions you could do uh, that wasn't important, but you could still interact with it for, like, story purposes, but uh, this game um, doesn't do that very much. It only has, like, a handful, but uh, it seems the key is no longer useful. I'll discard. You actually discard a key that we didn't need? Praise God. <laughs> they don't do that with all the other keys. Why this one? Yeah, but anyway. I mean, I'm not that annoyed it's just kind of funny that that's the time they finally say hey we'll dump these old keys you'll never need anymore they didn't do that with the old ones so anyway a couple more uh insect oops no. i'm gonna take care of you first since your your poisoning ability is more annoying if you get hit by the goo i think it i think it uh paralyzes you if i recall so which uh it's not that i mean yeah you have to cure it but it's something easy. these guys are easier to mess with, so... Okay, they're not doing too much damage. I, mean, I probably have to reload after this. That way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, easy peasy. Alright. Get more medicines? Yeah, I probably should use uh, one of them at least. Alright, well, how's my weapon? Alright, I need to sort, sort stuff. Oh, we're almost out of ammo. I am almost completely out of ammo. Alright, what else is in here? Looks like another you know, an experiment place or something. Then we get a tool here. We'll probably end up using that later, depending how far we get today. And then offense plus one, we'll take that. Oops. Or we'll use that. Um, yeah, I was just taking a look at that, but... Yeah, I saw the door up there. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else around here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there are a lot more, uh, like, things you can manipulate, like, to check. Like, newspapers and stuff like that. But, I don't know, I always... Replaying through this game, I just realized how many, like, very few things outside of collecting items there are to, like, interact with that are, like... You know, like I said, newspaper clippings, all this other stuff, so... So, for a game that kind of was heavily inspired by... Resident Evil, you know, it, it doesn't have a lot of the interactions that Resident Evil did. Although this is more RPG than action thriller, so anyway, we get a fuse number two, one more to go. And too bad there's not like a heal thing in there. Oh well. Hmm. Uh oh. What now? More monsters? More monsters? And we got a new creature there. Uh, I don't actually don't remember all the names of all the enemies in the game. Um, it's like some type of, oh yeah, he, he Arkanoids, <laughs> or throws like a, a booby ball or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, he throws that, he'll either attack you if you get up close, or he'll throw that like ball and it, it explodes and does a little bit of damage. So, not too bad. Nope, almost got hit, even though I sh sh shouldn't hit me, so. Yeah, level up, nice. Alright, got a bonus point too, we'll still uh, use that. We should be getting a level here pretty soon with a new good item, but uh, not quite yet. Yeah, 20 plus. A little extra damage. Okay, let's check this dead guy here. 
or gal, it's hard to say. Let's get a blue key card, so we can finally go into that one area from before. And we got a thing over here. We got the bee vest. Um, something to keep for later. It's a anti-poison outfit, so something to consider. Um, I'm not going to use it right now, but you could. If um, the ability, I uh, definitely the ability I want is the anti-poison, but we. But what I've got is better. So all right. Anyway, let's uh, get out. Let's get out of here. We gotta go back. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think what the. I'm trying to remember what the fastest way to be to get that was. Yeah, not that way. Although I'd have to find another encounter there if I did that. I mean, I could. I'm just trying to uh, keep my grinding to a minimum if I can help it. I don't even need to. Did I go through this door already? I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Whoops. Man, my brain is a. Uh, I'm definitely having one of those days where sometimes I, I know exactly what I need to do, and then other days I know generally what I need to do, but I. I, uh. <laughs> I like. Just like. I totally space, man. Anyway, yeah, we just need to go forward out of the way. You know, it seems this key is no longer useful. I'll discard it. Man, I is getting smarter every day, apparently. Discarding stuff she doesn't need anymore? What a novel concept. Maya, wait, don't leave me. Alone. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, yeah, uh, you might want to say for this part here, not that it's major, but this box has two possible different um, items I can drop for it. So let's see what we get. So we get the Micro Uzi, which is actually the better of the two. Um, I forgot the name. I'll have to look it up, but there's another Uzi you can get as well. Uh, this one's I, I think, is the better one because it has the slightly better um, attack. But it's not too big. It's like attack like plus one or two better, and it's got an extra slot. So if you get the other one, don't like sweat it too much. The other one has like slightly better range, but um, and I think ex it can hold extra bullets. So we definitely want to keep this. We can't really utilize it now, mainly because it's... I think I think the other machine gun, I think it's called like the M8 or something. I'll have to look it up, like I said. But the Uzi is the better of the two items, so I got a little lucky there. But if I got another one, I wouldn't have like, reset just for that. You know, uh, we, we definitely want to keep it. We can't really utilize it just yet because of the, um, uh, the random function on it, so... The random function only really work on a boss fight where there's no random counters. Anyway, we got a new random counter. The uh, mongrel man or random one. I forgot what his name is. He has two things on him. He's either got the ball. He's got his balls. So we have to make sure to shoot him with the balls. Well, we can, but really we want to shoot him with the body. So. Um, sometimes he'll throw the balls around and attack you like that. Now, there's an interesting thing to this enemy. Uh, ah, I was actually hoping to. Oh, well. Um. There's actually an interesting thing to this enemy. He'll actually replenish these balls like infinitely, but um, there is a minimum to how many items can be on screen. Like I think it's 99 or something with that. So one way to get a, like a lot of experience and manipulate his item drops is to let him just keep dropping balls over and over and over again until, you know, uh, and then when you beat him, you might get something like a super tool, which would be fantastic, but I don't want to, I don't want to, um, Oh, another fuse there. I don't want to, like, manipulate things that badly, but if you want to get a lot of experience or um, whatever from that guy, you can. So it's something to consider. I was like, I thought there was another item around here. Oh, right. No. Uh, let's uh, use a medicine two. Medicine two. Uh, I think that's all that would, would have been in here anyway. So, oh, there's... Wait, there's a... Oh, yeah, right. I grabbed that. I just realized I... Open that from before, so. Um, for some reason I thought there was something else. Eh, probably not. Like I said, I might go off. Uh, if I do miss something, I'll double check my notes and see what it is. Because when I play, I don't do like some players do that have like a pad in front of them or a second monitor to look up notes. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm too lazy and don't want to spend for an extra monitor. So. But anyway, we finally can get the fuse. Oh no, the main circuit breaker is torn apart and some fuses are missing. Okay, well, let's put those fuses in. Yes, sir. I want to fuse a, put a fuse in the fuse box. Let's do it again. 
Uh, uh, did you put both of the fuses in there? Okay, I was about to say, I don't think we put all the fuses in there, so. All right, one more time. All right, now, the, the thing you're supposed to do here is, whoops. Uh, well, the thing you're supposed to do is, is repair the wire and then turn it on, but I want to show something funny. So let's, oops, sorry, I messed up. I, I clicked through too quickly. Okay, so let's turn it on and let's look at the exposed wires and all the electricity to it. Now, what you're thinking, viewers, is you're probably thinking, I'm going to turn off the thing so I can mess with the wires and then turn it back on because that's what a normal person would do, but not Aya. Let's touch the live wires. Oh God, I wonder how many volts of electricity was that? <laughs> Man, technically that's, I think that would be funny if it would have been game over, but I guess the game was like, no, let's not do that to him. So yeah, let's turn it off like a sensible person. It's like when you work on pipes, you want to make sure to turn off your water supply wall or, you know, uh, uh, I think it just, well, some houses you can just flip a switch to do it, but in some places, but anyway, same thing with here. You want to turn off the power, you want to repair the wires and then turn it back on. But I just wanted to see, I, I got shocked just for just for kinks I mean laughs laughs that's what I meant uh, now we can turn on the power well apparently that would turn on the jukebox all right <laughs> but yeah like uh, apparently turning that on turns on a uh, D uh, changes the music up so no we can't use this uh, uh, the one elevator we can actually go through the elevators now so yeah see everything's on and ready to go so so now we can actually get back to the main floor so let's go and do that oh right after press the button i pushed the button i pushed the button george so now we can finally get back up to where we were or at least try to get to where eve is so hopefully she doesn't cut these uh cable wires you think she would have been prepared for us to fix it but maybe she she and her hubris thought we wouldn't be able to get to it in time, so. What the? Now there's two blonde hair girls? I and me? What does that mean? Oh, yeah, the green key card, so we can't go that way yet. So let's go back up to the main area. And for whatever reason, maybe it's because of the power or maybe a power surge or something like that, but we can now go through that door that was locked previously. But anyway, we have a battle here against four amoeboids or amoebids or whatever. Kind of just take them out slowly but surely. And not get hit by their easy to dodge abilities, you know. Yeah, getting pretty lucky in the crits. Oh, I didn't I didn't realize I was I'd run out of ammo, man. Well it's because this thing holds so much, you just, just kinda don't notice it at times. You're just like, yeah, that'll be fine. Alright. Oh, a lot of ammo, nice. And uh Obviously a good chance. This is a good chance, obviously. It's probably where you'd want to save normally um, after that whole section, but I think we can keep going, so let's go to the north section over here. All right, what what, what do you got going on now, Eve? Okay, so let's look around with the... More bo uh, more battles. Bottles! Oh, an insect man and a... Uh, I don't know, a rat man or something. I don't know. No, we got all, got all crits, nice. He kind of hops around like a kangaroo or something like that. Or a marsupial of some sort. Yeah, probably could have dodged that guy's attacks before. But... The cure miss. I'm going to have to drop these cure M's here pretty soon. Well, let's... Oh. Oh, apparently there was someone in here. Well, I, I thought they all escaped, but... I don't know about you two, but I'm getting out of here. Uh, okay. Miss New Bomb, News Bomb, what is it about your medication? It's no use to me if I'm dead. I guess that's true. Oh, that's a female doctor. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. However, a nurse is trapped in the other room. Could you help her out? Yes. Okay, cool. But before we help them out, let's get uh, another, uh, actually, let me look at my, uh, let me reload that really quick. Look at my out of inventory right now. Uh, yeah, let's discard that. Because here pretty soon we're actually going to find a way to get rid of uh, paralysis um, in battle. So, so we can, I'll keep one just if I don't want to mess with it. But 
Okay, well, anyway, before we save that nurse, let's check back here. And we get a trading card for, for Wayne there, so something to think about, so. Let's see. I know there's another treasure chest in here. I'm just kind of looking around. Did you say anything else, Doc? I'm gonna need to look around to see if anyone needs medical attention. Okay. Ever the doctor, huh? Is it here? Yep. Okay. Anyway, we got a PE P one plus one for our efforts. I don't know what else is, that can pop up here, but we'll just say it's possibly something else. But all right, next room. What lies in yonder? Well, more monsters, but you know, Eve couldn't. Uh oh. This one could be a little, a little bit dangerous because of the because of how close everyone is, but I think we can handle it. Nice. Ah. Uh -oh. Ah, oh, dang it. No. Um, I kind of want to take out one of them, though, before I, uh, uh, maybe I should have healed the poison. Like, poison, you can see the poison doesn't do a ton of damage, but it... Uh, I don't even remember if that's the one I smacked earlier. Yeah, I keep getting hit by things. That, well, th this this particular battle doesn't give you much room to maneuver. Yeah, and I'm not very good at dodging. Yeah, that's it. facts. Be facts, you know. Oh, well, I've forgotten which one I hit actually. So at least this one, this guy's easy to dodge for the most part. Might use another medicine. Might as well. Just fill up my inventory anyway. Let's see, there you go. Game's kind enough to give us a medicine. Hey, this room looks familiar. This room, I've seen it before. Oh, yeah, I just said it. I'm getting hot. It's... I've... Uh, never mind, I was going to make a crude joke. I know I've been here before, but why? What was I doing here? This whole joke about getting hot, it's hard not to just make a crude joke, but... Nope, I'm going to be the bigger man. Yeah, just like in our flashback, so... Does that mean you've been here before, Aya? Hmm. But what about that other girl that Maya, she said her name was? Questions upon questions. And dragging out the, the possible answer to it as long as we can. We don't want to solve it too quickly now. Otherwise we'd have no, no, no suspense outside of the world almost being destroyed by this crazy mitochondria lady who can turn things on fire. But no, we need more drama after that, so... Nah, I'm fine with that. I'm just no, oh, there's the nurse. Is that is that pretty low cut low cut front there, lady? But uh, whatever. Phew, I thought I was done for. Thanks. Glad to help, but you could even help me even more by telling me where the door doors next to the elevator lead. Um, to the storage areas of the hospital. That's where I keep. That's where we keep oxygen tanks and our main supply of liquid nitrogen. What would you use liquid nitrogen for? I don't know. Here. Take this green key card and find out yourself. I'm not staying to see what happens next. Eh, reasonable. Especially since you can't... I'm surprised you didn't catch on fire, to tell you the truth. Actually, why aren't these people dead from spontaneous combustion? Hmm. Anyway, we got the green key card. Thank you. Okay, well, anything else? Oh, that's an older lady, it looks like. Oh, maybe the, maybe she's wearing a shirt under there. I can't really tell. It just looks like she's got a low V-neck line. Everyone else, uh, either everyone's either dead or evacuated. I think I'll choose the latter. Eh, well, it's a good call. All right, go flailing all over the place. <laughs> and there she goes. All right. Anyway, hopefully she survives, but who knows? It's not like that one random clown dude from uh, the first part where he, you know, combusted as he ran out. So I don't remember if there's anything else in here other than saving her. Also, gotta be careful moving around because you might accidentally activate the next uh, encounter, so... Okay. Yeah, the main thing in here was getting that green key card, but I thought I'd check and see if there's anything else. I feel like I am going to have to go back through my notes, because I feel like I might have missed, like, a, a thing or two, but... Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, on to the next part. I think the doctor's, like, somewhere... Actually, I think she's just ahead, actually. Yeah, there's the doc. Can you tell me why the hospital uses liquid nitrogen? Well, for many different things. You can use it to freeze off warts and such, but its main use is for research. It keeps the sperm bank from spoiling. Sperm bank? 
my god, how do I turn it off? Well, there is a valve that you can turn off in the storage area. Why? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. By the way, which floor is the research lab located on? The 13th floor. Dun, dun, dun. You know, people are so suspicious, at least in America, the 13th number, that a lot of places don't actually build a 13th floor. Even though that's technically when the next floor afterwards would be the 13th floor. They technically build a dummy floor to keep the uh, uh, suspicion off, which is... I, I never got it, but anyway. Thank you. Then again, in Japan, uh, they have a they have the same thing. I think it's the number four, I think, or something like that. Anyway. I'm going to look around to see if anyone needs medical attention. I don't think we ever see her again, actually, after that. So Anyway, now that we have the green key card. Yep, the card's no longer useful. Inside we go. And we go, let's go up here. I think there's a treasure. You can barely see it, but there is a treasure up there. So. I right, get a bullet cap. Cool. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else you can... I think you can get range here, uh, possibly. I would have preferred the range, but maybe... Oh yeah, let's uh, actually before we go ahead and um, move the ammo for that. All right, and then let's see. I think I'm coming up here pretty soon. I don't know if it's. It might be this room. I want to change my weapon because there's a um, there's a thing I want to steal uh, from someone. I think it's this. Yeah, it's here. Okay. I kind of wish I had the new the ability you can get at the next level, but man, eh, that's fine. Anyway, we got a mini boss against the big amiibo eater, or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, we want to steal, steal. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Um, you can steal. I wonder if he has any more items, because you can actually steal a defense thing from him. Dang it! I didn't want the tool. I wanted the defense thing. Oh, well, it's not gonna break the bank. That's just what I want. I should have saved actually. Oh well. Yeah, that's the thing. He can drop possibly a tool in a defense one. Huh, when I play tested this, he uh, dropped the defense one, so I actually didn't expect him to drop the tool. Oh well, I can just do that again off screen. I was so close to getting that level. But yeah, that's why I came in here to see if I could get that. I mean, the tools are fine, but that's not the, um, that's not the thing I wanted, so oh well. I mean, this game has so many variants. Actually, I don't know if it's even worth, like... I mean, the defense one is nice, less damage, but it's almost like, eh, do I really need to do that again just for that? So, But so the, to, to let you know that there is another uh, thing. But anyway, let's turn off the liquid nitrogen. So that way we can now get to the, uh, the sperm bank. So, Ew, sperm bank. Gross. All right. I don't think there's anything. I'm trying to remember if there's anything down this way. Uh, no. I was actually thinking about saving actually before coming into this room before, but I just, I just assumed I was going to get the defense one because I think that you know, even though the, uh, even though uh, the defense is technically a, a rare drop, but will turning off that sperm bank uh, stop E from getting there, or will she shoot her load too soon? Find out next time in the next episode of Parasite Eve. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Hello?